Let's get started working on right variable expressions. Choose the best answer. Maya's parents are trying to be healthier, so they are counting how many glasses of water they drink in a day. Today, Maya's dad drank X glasses of water, and her mom drank 19 glasses less than her dad. Choose the expression that shows how many glasses of water Maya's mom drank today. So what we're trying to figure out is how many Maya's mom drank. Now the key information that we have here is that Maya's dad drank X glasses of water and her mom drank 19 glasses less than her dad. So it's Maya's mom is gonna equal her dad minus 19. So the key word in here that got us to use subtraction was this less than. She drank a smaller amount, so we had to take away. So that means that it's not gonna be this 19 or this x plus 19. We have two that have subtraction, either x minus 19 or 19 minus x. Since we're trying to figure out how much Maya's mom drank, we have to take her dad minus the 19, and her dad drank the x glasses. So it's x minus 19. Folk singer Bobby McKee released the two albums Backyard Farmhouse and Duckling Uprise. Backyard Farmhouse had seven tracks, while Duckling Uprise had X less songs than Backyard Farmhouse. Choose the expression that shows how many songs were on Duckling Uprise. This word less songs tells us it's going to be subtraction. So it's not going to be seven or X plus seven. So we have to figure out, is it seven minus X or X minus seven? What we're trying to figure out is how many were on Duckling Uprise. I'm gonna use a D for that. So Duckling Uprise had X less songs than Backyard Tracks. So we need to do Backyard Tracks minus X. Backyard had seven, and we're going to subtract X. So it is seven minus X. Canada has eight fighter jets, but Japan has X more fighter jets than Canada. Choose the expression that shows how many fighter jets Japan has. So Canada has eight and Japan has X more. More means that we need to use addition. So not eight minus X or X minus eight or just eight. It's going to be X plus the eight fighter jets that Canada has. Canada has 13 fighter jets, but Japan has X more fighter jets. Choose the expression that shows how many fighter jets Japan has. There's that word more again. So we are going to be using addition. So we can cross off all the ones that don't have addition in them. So we're left with one. Let's be sure it's correct x more. So I always say 13 plus x. Now that's interesting because our, our uh, answer choice is x plus 13. The cool thing about addition is that it doesn't matter which order you do this in. Let's say for example that x was equal to 2. So 13 plus 2 and 2 plus 13 will both give you an answer of 15. So it doesn't necessarily matter that we wrote it as 13 plus x. That's the same thing as x plus 13. But that doesn't work for subtraction, so only addition and multiplication. Caleb is counting how many science books he has and finds that there are 12. He then goes to his older brother room and finds that he has x more science books. Choose the expression that shows how many science books Caleb's brother has. 
So since we see this word more, we know that we're going to be using addition. So we are going to look for the expression that says 12 plus x. The 12 books that Caleb has plus the amount his brother has. If it is x degrees today and 15 times hotter tomorrow, choose the expression that will calculate the temperature for tomorrow. Well, if it's going to be 15 times hotter, that is a key that is going to be a multiplication problem. So that's going to be x times the 15. There were X kids at the park today at noon. And by 3 p.m., there were 19 times more kids. Choose the expression that will calculate how many kids are at the park at 3 p.m. We have the word times and we have the word more. So is it going to be X times 19 or is it going to be X plus 19? That's a tricky one. We know it's not division and we know it's not subtraction. We have two division ones though, so we'll cross those two out. So which one is it? Now, both multiplication and addition are going to make your number larger. So it kind of gets, that's why it might be a little bit confusing. But because we know that multiplication is going to make it bigger, it makes sense that the word more is there. Because it says times though, we know that it's going to hint towards multiplication. If it had just said more all by itself, we would use addition. But this one's going to be x times 19. At a fair, there are three times less people in line for the carousel than for the twirly swings. Choose the expression that shows how many people are in line for the carousel if there are X people in line for the Torelli swings. Three times less people. Now, three times less because multiplication is the opposite of division and division and subtraction make numbers smaller, we are going to be using division. So it's either going to be this one or this one. Now, the question is, are we doing x divided by 3 or 3 divided by x? Well, there are three times less in line for the carousel than the twirly swings. So the twirly swings have more, so we're going to be doing x divided by 3. There are x chickadees on the bird feeding and nine times less finches on the feeder. There's that times less, which gives us a hint it's division. Choose the expression that will teach us how many finches are on the feeder. So there are nine times less on the feeder. So we need to do dividing it by nine. So it's going to be x divided by nine. While planning a camping trip, Benjamin finds out the small lake is x times smaller than big lake, which is two kilometers wide. There's that time smaller. That tells us it's its division. Choose the expression that will tell us how big small lake is. Small lake is x times smaller, so we're going to do two divided by 